there's still one last thing to look at in building the new pedal board around an HX stomp. I got a question about using it as a preamp into a power amp and speaker cab, and I realized this is something I've accounted for in my large rig that I didn't touch on when I was talking about building the small pedal board. Most of the time, I'm able to use the DI setup that I've grown accustomed to and that I demonstrated in the prior videos. However, I like to be prepared to run the pedal board using other means, so I'm making this video about output and monitoring. Every amp model in the HX Stomp can be separated into three layers depending on your use case. You might choose the preamp if you want to send just the fundamental gain and EQ settings into a power amp and cab on stage. The amp block is useful when you're using an external cab simulator and just want to get the complete amp head tone out of the HX Stomp. Uh, that's normally how I structure my setup. The amp plus cab is when you want the HX Stomp to model the entire signal chain from preamp all the way through to the speaker and microphone simulation. There are also IR blocks where you can load external impulse response files that typically do the job of simulating the speaker cab and microphone. Many choices exist of IRs, uh, they're out there for download, and uh, these really help open the HX Stomp up to even more tone shaping within a single box. I'm going to do my test using different permutations of all this gear. The EQ is used in every scenario and is part of my pedal board. It goes directly after the HX Stomp and its purpose is so that I can have quick tone shaping ability for exactly the situation I'm talking about here where I'm going to run the pedal board into a different signal chain. The Iconoclast is my go-to cab sim. It's a digital device, but according to the manufacturer, it's not based on an impulse response. This one works without an amp and it has EQ and noise gate controls right on the panel. The Blue Box is a cab sim that has a preloaded selection of impulse responses to choose from. I'll be trying out the one I like the most called Black 2x12. This unit is designed to be used either with or without an amp. The JDX is an analog cab sim that can only be used with an amp. It has no extra tone shaping abilities, but it's meant to sound like a 412 cab with a SM57 microphone. And finally, I'll just stick a mic in front of the speaker using my favorite mic to gig with, uh, the E906. By the way, uh, for each example I make, it should be a given that I've adjusted the EQ pedal uh, to get close to the sound I want. This is not an attempt to make each solution sound like the other. Uh, that's not going to be possible. It's just me getting the sound the way I might on stage given the same circumstance. I processed all of these in the mixer the same way with a touch of reverb and a slight stereo spread. Here's an amp block into the Iconoclast, my default rig setup. <laughs> This setup with the blue box is the same way I use the Iconoclast. It's just a different flavor of cab sim technology. Here's a setup in the HX Stomp for the entire guitar, amp, and speaker signal chain. Now I'll start incorporating an amp. On stage I'd be able to monitor the amp directly, and this is the signal that would be sent to the front of house using a blue box. 
Here's a slight variation where I use a preamp block in the HX stomp instead of the amp block. This is as good a time as any to say that I prefer using the amp block in scenarios where you typically use just a preamp. I found the preamp, even into a tube power amp, to require more EQ work, and I also felt that the overall sound and feel was not quite as good coming from the HX stomp as using the full amp. This is a JDX analog cab sim with the amp on stage. This is a variation of that which uses the preamp block in the HX stomp. And here's using the amp on stage with only a microphone, uh, no cab sim involved. I mic'd it up as it normally would be at a gig, uh, just quickly placed a dynamic mic in front of the speaker. And this is the variation that uses a preamp block. So my preference is clear based on how you see my rig uh, demonstrated in the other videos. If I'm in a position where I need to use a backline amp uh, with an effects return, I'd have no trouble using my pedal board as it is, um, just using the amp blocks that I've already made in all my presets. I just plug in, work the EQ a bit, and then let the engineer do whatever it is uh, they're going to do, probably mic it up. It might not be my personal favorite, but that's the way it's always been, playing gigs before modelers and cab sims uh, gained in popularity. So thanks for watching and subscribing. Until next time.